Is my hair messed up? It's a little funky today. Oh, it's hard to see with that glaring sun in my face. Hey y'all, good morning. I'm Graham and this is going to be another little tour of my garden. And it's going to be kind of quick today. And if you want to see what happens after this video, you got to go check out uh, Graham's Hangout. That's where I will be driving to work and I will be talking about today and uh, other stuff in the garden. So go check that channel out too. All right, let me uh, flip the camera around and give you a little bit of what's been happening. Ready? This is what's been happening. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> it's so early in the morning, you can't see anything. Let's see, shh, shh. it's a forest of green. I don't know how well y'all can see this. This is growth. Oh my gosh, this is growth. <clears throat> These things are so healthy and strong. This is all my cucumbers that I overplanted. And my goal was by this point, they would fall over. They're not falling over. They're too strong. But that's okay. Give them another week or so. They'll, they'll get about here and then I might be able to push them over. <laughs> These are the... Um, these are those little lemon marigolds that Babs is growing in her garden. I sent her those in the spring. And uh, these are just, oh, they're so danky and cute. And then hiding in here are my, my large marigolds, which are still danky and cute. But as soon as they get more sunlight, boom, they'll explode. Uh, I'll take you down here. <clears throat> this tomato, I still haven't taken it out of this pot yet. And at this point, I don't know if I will or not. It's quite wrapped around the pole and everything. Um, and, you know, it may not produce a whole lot. I think this is, is it? Uh, oh, this is the mini tomato. Produces a little teeny weeny weeny tomato. Um, but uh, I, I just water the crud out of it. Every day I water it. <clears throat> so those buttercup, these top leaves have all dried off. But... You sneak through here, try not to drop you. I want you to see this. Look at all that growth. So it's all hanging over the side and everything. And then next to it, excuse me, we got all of these beautiful flowers. So this is cilantro. If you let cilantro go to seed, this is what it looks like. I was going to cut it back to see if I could try to get it to, to grow a little bit more for me, but yeah. And I have just my regular cucumbers on this side and then some carrots and then the lemon. The lemon is bushy and full. Oh, it's so beautiful. She is going to go inside and she'll be alive all winter. It's gonna be great. All right, let's take you down below. So since that sun is where it's at, we're going to start in the back and work our way back to the gate. <clears throat> oh, got a mailbox. Okay. <laughs> Something is different. If you looked at my sneak peek earlier, we added wood chips. And I've got this, about a truckload, um, small truckload. Um, I've got probably twice this I gotta bring back in. Um, I gotta put a little more on top, and then of course there's stuff back here and everything that's gotta be filled in. And then there's spots underneath the stairs and stuff that's gotta be done too. But <clears throat> all of these guys here, these guys are gonna get planted out here uh, sometime in the next day or two. And because I don't have the wood to go across uh, with them, I'm trying to figure out how to seal that off. There is a old sprinkler head here, but we're not using it anymore because the when we built the, the garage or the shop here, um, we disconnected the sprinkler system. So they're just sitting there. There's no, not hooked to anything. So we're going to probably put another piece of wood or some blocks or something across there so that I can plant those in the, in the soil. They really want to go in the soil. And then these guys, so there's a few extra, a few more flowers coming in up here, and there's some here, but 
I'm gonna move some of these branches off the side. I want you to see this guy. This tomato right here, look how beautiful and big that is. So what I'm gonna do with him is I'm gonna, I'm gonna harvest the seeds out of that one. That's the one I'm gonna take the seeds from so that I can grow the um, celebrity next year because that is like the best one I've seen so far out of the three. And of course the Rutgers are looking really good. I haven't even tied them back yet either because they're they're looking great. The corn now is about two feet tall uh, on this side and about a foot and a half on that side. So the corn's growing like crazy too. And I need to pluck these guys. For some reason, little teeny weeny jalapenos down there that turned red. But um, I don't know why they didn't grow. They should have gotten bigger. They should have been more like this. <clears throat> Oop like this but uh yeah so i gotta get those get those guys plucked off um so the, the uh, pumpkins they're just sitting on top of the soil i haven't put any dirt around them yet and they're looking great the other two are long gone <laughs> boy are they ever pepperoncinis looking really good there is some pods on the pepperoncini plant i don't know how well i'm doing on the angles here <clears throat> um, and then we'll sneak through here look at that it's coming up again isn't that cool so yeah you know like there's so much going on out here all the time now um, this is the time of year where everything really starts to grow and really look good um, and a lot of what I'm doing here is all groundwork for next year. Next year is gonna be where the bumper crop is happening. Um, there's these blocks here you can see, this wall. I'm actually gonna take a layer of blocks off, um, that top, probably that top row. I'm gonna take those off. I'm gonna put them over here on the ground because there's a slope and I don't wanna like level that slope out a little bit. And this whole bed between the wall and the fence it's going to get more soil. It's going to be lifted up uh, about 8 to 10 inches. Um, and then I'm going to put wood chips on it. And then that's... My tomatoes are going in there. All the way down. I'm going to put, plant them directly into that soil. And that's where they're going to go. <clears throat> is right into the ground there. And then I'm going to take these stakes here. And I'm going to put them down in the, the hole here. And lean them against the fence. Um, and make a structure so they can the vine and go up and through and, and it'll help support them a little bit so i've been doing a lot of thinking about that and all these flags or irises whatever you want to call them are going to come out and they're going to go down there in that big bed down there instead probably end up doing that in the next couple of weeks here um because they're all, they've already flowered and they've sat here and we've built their tubers so they're going to be just fine to transplant now but yeah, probably take out these two blocks here and then this top row all the way to the end where the, the fence meets and take those out. And then those are what I'll probably use over on the other side. Everything else is looking great, um, except the rhubarb. But I mean, come on, it's been time. It's rhubarb doesn't go on all summer long. It will come back in the fall though. Um, but, uh, this one's the baby, but this, this big one, you know, we were doing some talking with my, my mom about this. We think this big rhubarb plant is close to 40 years old. So I saved this from my mom's garden years ago and, um, hers, hers is gone. It's gone. They, they, Said, you know what, enough, enough. Uh, we don't like rhubarb, we never did. Let's get rid of it. So, there she goes. She's an amazing puppy. So, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, all right, well, um, kind of a little tour, kinda. So, hopefully I, I showed you something. I just wanted to find a spot where you can see me without the sun. Oh. That's weird. Um, if I move at all, you're gonna get blinded and not be able to see my face. Uh, 
I was going to say something. Oh, this has just been an experiment. This has been just a bunch of fun um, trying to show you that you can take a empty space, a dead space, that doesn't have, let me stand down here, that doesn't have anything in it. Um, just completely empty, barren land, and you can convert it into a garden. It, it's so simple. It's so easy. So, I mean, do it. Fine. If you have a little spot somewhere, garden. It doesn't matter if you're in an apartment and you got a patio. Put a couple of pots together and do something. Um, it'll change your life. I promise it will. It'll make you feel so much better about yourself and everything. See that little red box right there? That's my mailbox. It sure is. If you would like to have a letter and a shout out uh, for you and your channel, send me a letter uh, at the address and uh, I will give you a shout out. So um, go ahead and send me that and I'll also put you in the drawing to earn yourself $25 at Amazon um, uh, at the end of August is our first drawing and every month after that we're going to have a drawing at the end of the month and um, and if your name's not called the first time it'll just stay in the in the bucket and it will wait until the next time because somebody everybody is going to win something so all right y'all if you want to see what happens after this video go check out Graham's Hangout uh, where I talk and talk and talk and talk until then, y'all have yourselves a fantastic rest of the day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.